A quick word on multiplicity. Multiplicity refers to the number of times a factor or zero kind of pops up. So for example, the factor x plus two, which yields the zero, x equals negative two, has a multiplicity of two because there's two of those factors in the prime factorization here, okay? And of course, I'm gonna make a note that is an even multiplicity. Now, x minus three here is all by its lonesome, but more importantly, the zero, x equals three, has a multiplicity of one. And again, the more important part there is it's odd. What it ends up telling you is that if a zero, and let's just say that we have this zero negative two here, has a multiplicity that is even, then when the graph is coming up to it, it kind of has a parabolic relationship with that zero. So instead of going through it, it's gonna bounce off and almost create like a mini parabola. However, if the multiplicity is odd, like this one is, what you end up with is something that looks more like a cubic function, but it goes right through it. So we have that zero at x equals three, and it's gonna travel right through. So just kind of summarizing there, an even multiplicity is going to bounce, is the way I usually describe it. And an odd multiplicity is gonna go through. And what we're gonna find is that it is unlikely that if you know what you're looking for, you'll get this confused because the graph won't look the way it's supposed to look. Um, so in the next video, we'll talk about kind of how we can piece all these things together and know whether or not um, our graph is behaving the way it should and whether or not we made some silly mistakes.